Saturday, that's tomorrow, then Saturday, opens at the Frontier Hotel next Thursday, which is in Las Vegas, and she recently won the Las Vegas Comedy Star of the Year Award. Ooh. Would you welcome Miss Joan Rivers? Hey. Wow. I guaranteed not to sleep with the judges. It was that. <laughs> oh was come thing. on, no. Yeah. No, they had it. They had a show up in Las Vegas, and uh, I was one of the people. Rickles was. Yeah. Shecky Green and Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. And the it's just a women's year. And the women's year, and they said the winner is. And you took it. And I took. I didn't expect it. I had a lifesaver in my mouth. It went <laughs> right across the. <laughs> Did you have to make a little speech and so forth? Yes, and I didn't. And when you go to make a speech, because yeah. I would make a bit of speech, you know. I don't know anybody anything. I did this on my own. And, but you never you did. Know. It. But you don't. And you, do don't. you say, oh, thank you, thank you. Of course. You always think of those things and say that you're going to make a. F and then you say, thank you very much. It's very nice. But now, when you won the Emmy, I saw you. You were very gracious. Freddie got up and I think accepted that for the show. You didn't yeah. get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, you got, I got it. it. You, yeah. you took the Emmy. That's, Freddie took it instead of you? No, well, we <gasps> both got one. Oh, well, well, I don't care about Freddie. I care about you. Oh, I got it, yeah. Yeah, because. Four. I got four sitting there. Oh, sure. Yeah. Are you kidding? No. So you got nice lamps then in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> you put a rod right through the head of it, and like, those, like those chicken lamps you see in early America. They're always my favorite. With a chicken with a lampshade on his head. A, this yeah, is very cute. You. Yeah. This is, that, is, is this fox? That, well, the, I think it's squirrel. This is called a, uh, no, a boa. A boa, yeah. Boa. Edgar claims it's fox, but I never saw a fox with a nut in its paws. So I think... <laughs> Little backyard work from Edgar, eh? I see. Actually, this is my dog, Sparky. 18-wheeler <laughs> got him, huh? <laughs> I can't help it. You set him up. I'm going to grab one once in a while. <laughs> no, they had the pooper scooper law, and I figured it's the best way to keep Sparky with me and not worry. Because <laughs> this was a big dog, and I just wasn't going to go around shoveling, you yes. know? I figured the first time a cop ever tried to stop me and give me a ticket, I just say I did it, I did. and then it was just. <laughs> you don't want to embarrass the dog, of course. No, but actually, it, it, it was Tony Newley's old eyebrow. This is me, <laughs> or a, a gay snake. You know? Well, whatever. It was actually. It was. If you really want to be serious, yeah. Well, see, I don't know much yeah. about this. Are these yeah. in now in fashion? This is very much in fashion, right, yeah. and it was lent to me. It was Elizabeth Taylor's old belt, and it was lent to me. And it was, oh. oh, you see. Right, She's big... fat. It's not my fault. I didn't stuff the potatoes in her mouth. <laughs> They're booing you because she's funny. She's fat. It's, she's my good friend. I, I don't want that. her to be fat. I know that. You said what was her problem when she went to McDonald's once? Went <laughs> to McDonald's just to watch her eat and watch the numbers change. <laughs> <laughs> Special Evil Knievel is going to jump Oh, up. come on now. I mean, you don't want Liz to be... Yeah, no, and we went out to lunch this afternoon. Yeah. Her stomach grumbled. I mean, I thought it was the MGM lion. I was going to... <laughs> And it's her own fault, Johnny, I see. because on her wedding night, she told me she put whipped cream all over her thighs and then she licked it off. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you're bound to get fat. Yeah. And I warn her, I tell her. Yeah. You know, but you hang out a lot together. I assume. Oh, very close. Yes, I can tell. Very, very close. Yeah. She's my. She is one of my three closest friends, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Well, was she and uh, Sophia Loren and uh, Jackie Onassis. But I think Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jackie's getting engaged, you know. I didn't know that. Yeah, Tito. And if Tito? Just, yeah, Tito. <laughs> then the shot. Oh, then the yeah. shot. <laughs> she, she's covered. <laughs> she just picks them old and sick. She's no dumb. Well. And why not? She's good looking, sell it, damn it, you know? Yeah. Because women, no, um, see, may I talk to you, Fred? Women can. have been told, well, we are liberated now, as you say. Not it's true. the time for women. We were told by our mothers, don't do this, don't that. Women must take care of themselves. I truly believe this. Right. And part of it is sex. Sex is not to be enjoyed. I really believe this. Right. And it, oh, no, 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 no. You have to pretend, you know what I'm saying? You have right. to, well, you have to encourage him because he's doing most of the work. But right. it's like, well, you know. It's kind of a bartering thing. Yeah, I usually just lie there and go, ooh, 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 ooh. I, uh, <laughs> I 
just read a magazine behind his back. He has no idea. <laughs> that is a turnoff, you know. If you're, if you're caught, that's a, a definite turnoff. I did all my Christmas shopping from catalogs. Yeah. I never got out of bed. It was. <laughs> <laughs> But she, she was smart. She married an older man. Yeah. And he fell over and she got yeah. $28 million. Yeah. Do you ever read one of those things? Well, no, I, I saw your young daughter. Uh, yeah, Missy. 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 Yeah, I haven't seen her for a while. She's grown up. She's a yeah. young lady now. Do you, ever, do you ever read one of those, what are you, the manual or the joy of sex or the things like that? Oh, not at my age. Really? Oh, I'm getting so, um, the joy of sex at my, Edgar's age? Come on. Well, come His on. idea of foreplay is covering me and Ben Gay. I mean, it's just, you know, we're a little older. <laughs> No, that's what upsets me because my body is falling to pieces. Oh, no, come on. Oh. Here we go again. Every oh. time you come here, you Please. start that self-deprecating stuff. Because I have no sex appeal, okay? Okay? <laughs> a rapist once put a stocking over his face. I mean, <laughs> and it's just... <laughs> Oh. I was gang rejected by 12 muggers once in Central Gang Park. rejected? Gang rejected. <laughs> 12 see. muggers said, forget it. You know what I'm saying? Guys on death row say, let's just be friends. I mean, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very depressing. My oh. idea, I mean, it's very hard. Uh, what we use these days in my house for uh, birth controls, I just get undressed with the lights on. You know, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> Shake hands. It's very sad. Ah, oh, you have such a sad life. It's not easy. And a funny life. And a funny life. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank God. I've got to do a, do a commercial here. Here's a word from Winnie the Pooh and his friends at the Sears candy store. Thank you, Doc. We have Joan Rivers, Rick Van Patten, Stephanie Ferris, who's with us tonight, and Byron Allen. Somebody told me uh, the Academy Awards are coming up uh, a week from this coming, April 14th. Yeah. I know that because I'm the master of ceremonies this year. Yeah. And uh, are you going? I was going to do it. You know, they asked me to give out the Best Actor Award, but I turned it down. What's that? Well, it probably may be Dustin Hoffman. And I saw Kramer versus Kramer, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you, were, ugh, you know, they go to the bathroom, they don't wash their hands. And I just, <laughs> oh, God, didn't you see that movie? Yeah, I saw it. Tinkle, tinkle, flush, flush, and they make eggs. I got crazy. <laughs> so... You know, if he wins, I'm not going to hand him anything. Pew, I'm not going to take it. So, uh, no wonder Meryl Streep left him. I mean, you can't blame her. The Board of Health came in and said, take the kid. But, um, it was, so I, I turned it down. Because turned it down. That. Yeah, well, movies get me crazy like that. And really? I was very affected by Kramer versus Kramer, because I wasn't wanted as a child. Oh, now, and, here we go. Oh, yeah, John, how do you know you weren't wanted as a child? I was not wanted. My mother carried for 18 months on purpose. The woman just didn't want me. Two weeks after I was born, she tried to have an abortion. I told you this one. It was ugliest child ever born in Larchmont, New York. Doctor looked at my face, looked at my tush, and screamed, twins. It was just... <laughs> ugly. And they hated me. You know, my Oh, I had a, a, a bassinet with a lightning rod. I mean, it was, it was just terrible. <laughs> I don't know this. My mother used to test the milk by squirting it in my face. It's hot. Hot. It's too hot. And it just, it, it was very difficult for me growing up. I know you, you, you talked about it like when you were in high school. You, you didn't date much. Uh, date much? Well, Nothing. My, my senior prom, my cousin took me and she was furious. She had a long day. You know. Oh, God. And then you get older, you know. And um, oh, Did I, your folk try to get you married off? Oh, I mean, when, are you kidding? Anything. If it rang the, that I got a nice man as a miracle, they had to sign up last girl before freeway. I mean, it was just <laughs> anything. They had me dating a used car salesman. Ugh. He used to walk around my house, kick my legs. I mean, it was just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Turn my watch back. And it was just... <laughs> thought that I was going to get married. They never yeah. told me the facts of life because of that. Never sat down? And... Never sat down. My mother figured, look at it. Why bother? I once... How'd you oh, learn about... Well, two ways. Yeah. And both ways have been very wrong. One, I learned through Cosmopolitan magazine. Oh, wow. Which, well, it's all sex. That magazine, yeah. you know, the lead article, how to use your breasts to get a better apartment. And it's like, you know... <laughs> ding, dong. <laughs> They do have a, an orientation toward that, don't they? Oh, the, the gourmet, 10-minute gourmet meal, take a chicken, put it in a funny position. I mean, it's, it's uh, The only thing my mother told me, which was interesting, after I got married, and even this, she didn't tell me enough, she said to make your husband happy, we can talk, you know, sure. she said, um, you should fake orgasm. 
Really? Yeah, that was what I was told. But you never added only when you're with him, see? So I would... <laughs> 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 I used to call him up long distance and go, oh, 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 and hang up. I, see, I, I had no idea. What she was talking about. He was on the phone with a lawyer. You know, I had no idea. But that's over with, that's too. That's over with you now. Know. Uh, don't I wish those days, you know? Yeah. I haven't seen a gynecologist in four years. No, I figure, you know, if the car's in the garage, why well, pay for a mechanic? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And it's very sad. Well, let's get off sex. How can you? Sex makes the world go round. I suppose. And it's all sex education. I spit on education. I am a college graduate with honors. Pooh. It hasn't done me one bit of good. Nothing. Heidi Abramowitz, a Oh, tramp, I remember her. That was a, the... a bum. A bum. Crazy glue couldn't keep her knees together. <laughs> Mary Welsh, a bum. <laughs> Mary Welsh. <Welling. laughs> Heidi was you. loose, eh? Oh, <laughs> she would ask the think I'm easy. I mean, this girl... <laughs> and Heidi married Rich, because she was... And no style. No style. No... I mean, I try. You buy the boa, you get the hair done, you try. Heidi... Ah, we once went shopping for shoes. She put her foot in the measure and she said, I'll take it. I mean... I don't plan she had earrings attached to the cord. I mean, it was just yeah. low class. What she? Her what? Easter bonnet had canned fruit on it, and the guys, <laughs> Heidi, 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 Heidi. Yeah, you know? sexy. Well, okay. it's like you and. What do you mean, me? And oh, grow up! I, I was on the show that time. The oh, two yeah. of you were carrying on. <laughs> well, she's a nice woman, but yes. let's not carry on. You know, let's she, face she, it. Well, she she, had, she nice. cut a wide swath during World War II. Oh. So. Oh, come on. Come on. She has seen more ceilings in Rome than Michelangelo. I <laughs> <laughs> had no idea what? where you were going there. <laughs> you, you, you always amaze me. You always end up somewhere, don't you? Because <laughs> men, men are just much more now naive. Now, look at Cosmopolitan. Now, there's a, w a woman's magazine. Totally woman's magazine. And yet women say that men are always thinking about looking at the sexual uh, role, and yet a woman's magazine always portrays it that way. But it's, it's life. Yeah. You can't deny it. Sex, unfortunately, in my case, They is use it to sell it. everything on television and all the magazines it's used. And we all try to look good. Yeah. God knows I've pulled and snipped this old body. I'll do any, anything. I'm going to put the booby up here and the here down here. Anything to look good. I don't care. little cosmetic touch-up. Well, you know, my neighbors, well, I can't mention who, but a big actress who's had it all done and mm -hmm. looks fabulous. Yeah. The only trouble is the knees are now the bazooms, the bazooms are now the ears, and she talks them back here. Got but it. otherwise... <laughs> You'd never know. The first time she said hello, I thought she poopsie. I had no idea. No, she was making conversation. I was lighting matches. I just was like... You know. <laughs> you, Remember that in high school? Oh, yes. You have a weird, weird family. <laughs> I'm going to do this, do I? Okay. Well, you're funny. You're a funny lady. It's good to see We'll do this. We'll be right back. I no, they had, they had a show up in Las Vegas, and... Uh, I was one of the people. Rickles was. Yeah. Shecky Green and Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. And the it's just the women's year. And the women's year. And they said the winner is. And you took it. And I took. I didn't expect it. I had a lifesaver in my mouth. I went <laughs> right across the. <laughs> Did you have to make a little speech and so forth? Yes, and I didn't. And when you go to make a speech, because yeah. I would make a bit of speech, you know. I don't know anybody anything. I did this on my own. And, but you never you did. Know. But you and you do. And you say, oh, thank you, thank you. Of course. You always think of those things and say that you're going to make a... And then you say, thank you very much. Day. Wow. I guaranteed not to sleep with the judges. <laughs> it was that. Oh, was come on, no. yeah. Saturday, that's tomorrow, then Saturday. Opens at the Frontier Hotel next Thursday, which is in Las Vegas. And she recently won the Las Vegas Comedy Star of the Year Award. Ooh. Would you welcome Miss Joan Rivers? Which is very nice. But now, when you won the Emmy, I saw you, you were very gracious. Freddie got up and I think accepted that for the show. You didn't yeah. get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got, got it. it. You, yeah. you took the Emmy. That's right. Freddie took it instead of you? No, well, we <gasps> both got one. Oh, well, well, I don't care about Freddie. I care about you. Oh, I got it, yeah. Yeah. I got four. I got four sitting there. 